Joining me now to talk about the Brockville Operatic Society's Oliver, I have in the studio two cast members, which happen to be Andrew Filion, as well as I'm talking with Jillian Hosek. Correct? Correct. Correct. You got oh, it. Oh, I got the names. Good. I'm always worried about that. I'm getting the names. <laughs> yeah. All righty. So the performance. When is Oliver starting at the BAC? So it uh, officially opens on October 10th, mm -hmm. uh, and it runs 10th, 11th, 12th. Uh, at 7.30 and a matinee at on Saturday. Two o'clock. At yes. two o'clock, yes. okay. Yeah. And the schools will also have an opportunity? Yes, we have a school show at 10 a.m. on the Wednesday. So Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. You people are gonna be so tired. Yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so it's happening at the Brockville Arts Center. That's Ticket right. prices are? Uh, 41.50 for uh, general admission and our student pricing is 31.50. Okay, and then yeah. plus the HST that always Yes. Say that. Yeah, yeah. got to do that. So <laughs> we know that Oliver is a classic. Yes. If there's someone out there in our viewing audience <laughs> that has never ever heard of Oliver, one of you please tell us a storyline. Yeah, um, I think uh, the storyline. Th there's a lot of moving pieces, yes, of course, mm -hmm. but thematically, it's it's really about hope, mm -hmm. and it's about. Um, sort of the uh, societal disparities um, that existed at that time and continue to exist today and um, how a little twist of fate uh, can totally change, um, you know, your life. Um, that's that's kind of the broad strokes, if you will. Um, yeah, I mean, you start out, you have Oliver who, yes. you know, is an orphan. He, he starts out in, in the workhouse and uh, eventually finds himself with uh, the pickpocketing gang. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think he's just looking for, ultimately, he's looking for home, love, and yes. a family. Yes, yeah. what we all want. Yeah. And it's set in the 18... 1830s. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, 19th century London. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah, mm -hmm. London, England. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> yes. So who's playing Oliver? Um, Actually, my son, Oliver, yeah. uh, his name is Oliver. Um, so as he likes to say, Oliver is playing Oliver and Oliver. Uh, <laughs> so so that's okay. yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and interestingly, mm -hmm. um, uh, several years ago, he just turned just turned 11, which is the character's age in the mm -hmm. show. Uh, but several years ago, when he was seven, uh, he did a, uh, a workshop with our director, Todd. And um, he was... Uh, at the art center and performed Where is Love, which is the iconic wow. Oliver song. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of a, a bit of a revisiting of that yeah. uh, for him now that he's a little older and, and now, you know, getting to actually live that that whole role. Wow, good yeah. for him. Yeah. Isn't that so exciting? Great. He's so exciting for him. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's very excited. He works very hard. He's a, he's he a really hardworking kid and very mm -hmm. dedicated. And yes. This is his, his passion for yeah. sure. So uh, son and father are going to be in Oliver. That's right, yes. Yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exciting yes. indeed. <laughs> so um, we know that Oliver is, is uh, an orphan. And uh, that was hard times back in the 1830s. It was really, really hard for children and everybody had to do their thing. There wasn't the, the, the social nets that we have nowadays, no. mm -hmm. you know, like food banks and things of this nature. So it must have mm -hmm. been so, so hard. Yeah, for sure. And that comes out in Oliver. I, I think so, yeah. I, think I mean, so. I think a lot of the characters you see that they are truly a product of a very rough environment mm -hmm. and yeah. they're really just doing the best that they can. Yeah. Um, yeah, you really see that with Fagin, yeah. Nancy. Yes. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 interesting to to see how that's all coming across. Yeah. yeah. So your director is Todd, Todd Noel. Noel. Oh, oh. Yeah. The amazing yes. talented yes. Todd yes. Noel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you see a show uh, directed by Todd, you can be certain that every little moment has been dissected for detail yes. mm -hmm. um, and iterated upon and and examined and. and made better time and time again. Yeah. Um, so he pushes us uh, really hard in, yeah. in the most constructive oh, yeah. way possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, the growth in the show um, from one rehearsal to the next, yeah, like it's palpable. It's wow. it's really it's yeah. really amazing. Nice. Yeah. But I also love that he gives us the space to explore 
the yes. parts ourselves. He wants you to grow. Well. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think I've really appreciated that. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, he sort of gives you, you know, the box to work in, and then you yes. can yeah. kind of, yeah, you know, burst out of it if you'd like, and he'll rein you back in. If yeah. He's <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly it. Now? Yeah. He always says, you know, uh, I love ideas. Bring me yes. ideas and I'll tell you no. But <laughs> yeah. that's cute. No, but he that really does cute. give us um, no, the space to to embody these characters and and bring our version of them to yeah. uh, to the stage. Well, you pretty well have to. I mean, it's if you're doing it, you know, you're going to bring your set. There's it's your character. Yeah. It's your character that you are, you know, envisioning yeah. that's being brought to the stage. Yeah. So yeah. that's great. Yeah. Um, all righty. So songs. Now, yeah. would, would you actually call this a uh, musical drama? Oh, it's it's I, a musical. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Musical yeah. drama? Yeah. 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 But Definitely. there is drama in it, right? Oh, yes. Oh, sure. absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, there's the songs. Do you oh. get to sing, Jillian? I do get to oh, sing. Oh, my goodness. You do? What are you singing? Oh, wow. Uh, so I get to sing It's a Fine Life, Oom oh, Papa, like and yeah. of course, uh, As Long As He Needs Me. Yeah. Which just yeah. snaps my heart in two every time. <laughs> <laughs> you should try being the audience. We're, we're watching Jillian sing these songs in rehearsal. Yes. And like, make no mistake, but the audience is going to be left with goosebumps. There's, really? there's, there's no question about it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's art. Now, do you get away without singing? Oh, absolutely, absolutely not. not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. No, I, I, I have quite a bit to, to sing. I have a little bit and I do anything. Uh, I've got Pick a Pocket or Two, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, an incredibly fun song. Uh, Be Back Soon. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, later on, there's a, uh, a Fine Life uh, reprieve. And that's a that's a very dark song that we we do together with another uh, character, Bill yes. Sykes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's very tense sort of mood building song. Uh, then uh, I have reviewing the situation and the reprieve of that mm -hmm. uh, later on uh, towards the end of the show. So lots, lots to, I didn't get away with anything. <laughs> Absolutely lots, not. Lots, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> there are some times where I'm going through the script and there's 12 page of singing. <laughs> You've got the longest song in the whole show. Yeah, reviewing, re the, reviewing situation. the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you do it so well though. Oh, thank you. Um, so, thank you. Yeah. Julia. Why did you want this role? Why did I yeah, want this role? Yeah, why did role? you want this role? Why? Oh, goodness. So I actually was in uh, the production that uh, the BOS did about 20 years ago of Oliver. Yes. And I was, I think, 11 or 12. Uh -huh. And uh, I, the, the, the lady who played Nancy in that uh, production was just absolutely, she, she blew me away. Okay. I remember watching okay. her and just thinking, that's... That's what I, I, I want to be, be someday. Yeah, I want to play her. Um, yeah. yeah. And so the, Nancy is actually probably the first character that I've ever really wanted to, to play. Um, and I feel like it's such a wonderful thing that I get to come yeah. full circle. Exactly. And here I am, you know, yeah. playing Andrew? Nancy 20 years later. Yeah. Sorry, Nan. So, uh, Andrew, what about you? Why did you want to... Uh... Uh, I mean, if there's a more iconic m musical character uh, than Fagin, I don't know who it is okay um, <laughs> uh, it, you know it's been, it's been played by that role's been played by ron moody and and um jonathan price and mm -hmm. ben kingsley yeah. and mm -hmm. it's like oh my goodness like and there's just so much to explore there um you know i love working with the kids um that is that is a huge part of that's such a joy <laughs> the, the draw you mm -hmm. know yeah. and um you know last year i was in school of rock and and so was my son and uh, it was great, but we, we were never on the stage at the same, same time. time. No. <laughs> you know, and uh, there's a very uh, real and, and visceral uh, relationship that forms and, and uh, with a lot of push and pull between Oliver and I in the show. So, um, you know, getting to work with him at that level um, together, it's, it was, it's a special opportunity. It's like icing on the, the yes, cake, you know? Yes, um, yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's. I, I mean, how could you not want to, you know, go for that and, and give yeah. it a try, you know? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both yeah. for coming in, and sitting down with me, and oh, talking about you. Oliver mm -hmm. and uh, Break a Lake. You know, I always <laughs> say that to people that, that are uh, performing, and I feel bad after because if you left here and you tripped over something, you actually broke your leg. <laughs> I would feel terrible. So don't. But I mean, Break a Lake because they just they say that, right? Yeah. They so do you know why they say that? 
Um, no. Why? Well, so the the curtains at the side that obscure your your yes. uh, cast from the audience's view are called legs. Yes. Um, and so by breaking the leg, that's breaking the sight to the audience, which means you've successfully made it on stage. <laughs> So yeah. that's that's pretty cool. Okay. That's it. Thank yeah. you. So break a leg means we did break it. Leg. We made it there. We did it. Yep. <laughs> okay. What? Whatever. <Yeah. laughs>